look, he's not on the beach. No, I've arrived an hour early tonight because um, I wanted to try and get some lugworm uh, before the match. I've sort of arrived at half hour, maybe an hour too late for the lugworm. I managed to get 10 minutes uh, before the tide covered the lugworm bed. But I've time to get an ice cream. Um, so yeah, I did get down onto that little corner of, of sand and I managed to get 12 lugworm. But it's only a three hour match, so that'll help. And now I'm here an hour earlier than I need to be, but I've got time for an ice cream. So evening and welcome back. Something slightly different for me, but not very different. This is the Southern League and Open Midweek League, which I don't normally fish, so I'm just fishing it tonight as a guest. They fish once a month um, at various nights of, of the week. It's sponsored by Point Dexters of Southampton and is fished around um, Southampton Water, both east and west sides. So tonight we're at a venue called Hillhead, and I'll show you around in a minute. This is a bit of a different beach from the other venues we've fished. It's very, very shallow. Uh, you can't see that at the moment because we're only an hour and a half before high tide. But at low tide, this goes out at least 200 yards. Um, there'll, there could be hounds here. This is quite a good beach um, for stingray. There are gilthead bream here. Uh, but I don't think we're really going to be aiming for any of those. Someone might pick up a hound, someone might pick up a stingray. But really, this is a scratching match, and that's why I'm here tonight. Um, bit of fun, bit of practice, because scratching's not really my thing. And so we're going to be going for little bass, we're going for little um, smooth helm pups. This is just a length match. So actually, if I get four little um, bass, that's probably worth more than a big hound anyway. <laughs> um, so before I left home tonight, I was watching a video by Pond Pete. Look up Pond Pete. And I don't think he's very pleased with his video, but I thought it was excellent. He had a match where they were struggling and he was scratching around. And he actually came fifth with three pout and the biggest pout, uh, not pout, whiting. And the biggest whiting was seven centimeters long. But I thought it was good because it's, it's, a, good, it's a good bit of match fishing. He caught the fish that was in front of him and, and he got fifth because of that. Lots of people blanked because they just went for the big fish. The big fish weren't there and they didn't have a plan B. So that's what I'm doing. I'm practicing this technique because I'm not very good at it. So we'll see how, we'll see how we go. So if we're very quiet coming round here, we might see a lesser spotted dickhead. <laughs> You're not going to put that on there. <laughs> so on the menu tonight is worm, worm, or worm. So I bought a piece of king ragworm. Maybe I'll show you the difference here. So there's a king ragworm and there's a maddy. So I think around the country they're called different things. I think they're all called big rag one, but Maddie, some people call them harbour rag and wigglers, and I think I've heard someone call them reds. Uh, they're just, they're not small rag, king rag worm, they're a different species of rag one. So there's my Maddies there. I've got about a hundred. Um, it doesn't last as long as you might think when you're putting uh, four or five on the hook each time. And then I got here an hour early uh, and just managed to get a few fresh out blow lug. Um, Let's see, they might be the killer tonight.
So that first fish was so quick, I haven't even had time to tell you what I'm doing. So um, I think I caught that on camera. So that first fish was about two minutes after my first cast. So I hope it doesn't keep going at that rate because I run out of bait. And also I can't bait up that quick. So I've got two, two light rods this evening, uh, both the Tronics Pro. I've got the Tronics Pro multi-tip, which comes with one, two and three ounce tips. I've got the two ounce tip in, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm only chucking out um, a little way, so uh, each of the tips would have done it. I've only got a two ounce lead on there. And then the other rod I've got is a Tronics Pro uh, Banzai 4, which is a bit heavier because it's designed for four ounce leads. And I've got that at the moment because I'm chucking out sort of 30, 40 yards. But, um, in a little while, as it gets dark, I'm going to change over to the lighter one and just fish a couple of rod lengths out. But there you are, fish first cast, little tiny bass, 19 centimetres. Plan A is working. Oh, and the, the rigs, um, I've got, uh, it's two up. Unclipped, two, two up, one down, 60 centimetre snoods with, um, I think, size four, size four wormer hooks on. So before it gets dark, let me show you around the beach. So behind the beach, we have these sort of muddy, gravelly cliffs. And way back there, there's a little harbour at um, Hillhead Haven. So if you can just see the buildings in the distance, that's where we're parked. So this is quite a walk. And then it's quite an even beach. Yeah, quite fair for match fishing. Should be even all the way along. Speed up my baiting, I've put, and these are the blunt ended baiting needles. Blunt ended, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. Uh, and I've got my lugworm on one, I've got my king rag on the other, and you can't do that with the maddies, but it doesn't take long to put three or four maddies on the end of the hook. Oh, so while I've still got a bit of daylight, let me give you a bit of advice about using long snoods. I'm using 60 centimetres tonight, sometimes it might be a metre. And there's a tendency for them to get tangled. So there's a few things you can do. One, you can always shorten the snoods. Two, make sure the snoods don't reach each other so that the hook doesn't reach the swivel of the next snood down. Three, use a memory free line like amnesia. And then when it gets tangled, if you rub your fingers down it a couple of times while keeping it tight, it will re-straighten. And the other thing is to bring plenty of spray rigs with you. Because sometimes if they get tangled really badly, like you've got a little eel or something, then there's no saving them. And rather than mess around, just put another rig on. So one hour in, and I've not had a bite since that first cast. So that first cast in, it was only in the water two minutes, and I had that little bass, which measured 19 centimetres. And I've, I've not had a bite since. And I'm using really delicate baits with those little maddies. And that last cast um, was out there for 15 minutes, and I've just brought it in. And the, even the maddies looked as good as when I put them on. Completely untouched. You can't believe there's not even any little crabs or prawns or something out there that would eat a maddie. But there you are. I've, I've only heard rumours that there's one fish being caught a few pegs up to my left. I've not seen anything caught um, off up to my right and that's, that's an hour in. But it's getting dark now and at least we can say it, it can't really get any worse. So from my last video, I got a nice message from the lady that said, what do you think about when you're fishing? And I think the point is that you, you don't, 
or at least you don't think about anything except the fishing, especially when it's a competition and you're concentrating, thinking about what, what you might do with the next cast, what bait you might use, what can you change, you know, what's everybody else doing down the beach. And so that sort of makes it, although you could say there's some tension there, it also, it's also very relaxing because you're not thinking about what might be going on at work or what might be going on at home and the, the jobs I should be doing if I was at home, etc. You know, you're, 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 you're thinking about something different. You're close, closing it off, you're in your own little world. And I think that's why fishing is quite a stress relief, because you, you can escape into your own little world. But if you think different, let me know. What do you think about when you're out fishing? So it's 10 o'clock, we're so two hours in, only one hour to go. This is, this is only a three hour match from eight till 10. And uh, it is so quiet. Um, I've still not had a bite since that first cast. Um, I've not seen anybody in my section catch a fish. And we're not even losing bait. You can leave it out there 15, 20 minutes, it comes in and it looks like it did when you cast it out. It's almost exciting to catch a piece of weed. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing now someone up further up the beach getting something measured. So we've got some good anglers that fish this week. Um, some of the same people that fish the SLO at the weekends. And the good anglers will find a fish. So some of these people, they'll, they'll find something in the next hour. So it's half past 10, um, half an hour to go, and as I suspected, people around me are now starting to pick up the odd fish. I don't know anybody who's had two, but several people along from me have now had a little pup, a little smooth hound pup. Um, so I've, I've gone from sort of being first place in this area to um, sort of last. And, and we're getting reports at the other end of the beach. It is, isn't it? It's always the other end of the beach. They're, two, they're splitting the two sections, so we've only got to beat the people in our section. But up the far end of the other section, the low, low number pegs, um, have been getting a few bream and a, and a few small um, stingrays. So, anyway, there's always a chance. 30 minutes to go. Maybe the other can get one of those smuts. Love to have a stinger as well. <laughs> Zone A in third place with 49 centimetres as Dean Scott Dennis. Well done, mate. Well done. Second place in zone with 55 centimetres was myself. Well done, Dick. Cheers. And winner of the section with 74 centimetres was Billy Potter. Well done, Bill. Well done, Bill. So winner of the match come from zone B.
Really? Yeah. Third place in the section was um, Dave Beal with 64 centimetres. Well done, Dave. Well done, Dave. Okay. Well done. Second place was Ian Dancy with 73. And um, winner of the zone and the match with 78 centimetres, um, which also included the longest fish along with um, Bill Johnson of 40 centimetres. Darren had an eel, Bill had a. Bill Johnson said I can have it all. Oh, well, so, yeah, well done, Dad. So, he won't come up to Southampton anyway. Uh, uh, Bill? <laughs> Bill? <laughs> Bill Johnson. Oh, Bill. So he's got a bad one. That's it. Cheers, Dad. Well, thank you. See you next time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.